there, I'm Lisa Doyle with Sereno here in the East Bay. And hey, you know I wanted to start um, a special series. So my team and I, every Tuesday, we are starting a special series called Tips and Resources. You know, every week something happens in our industry or in our business where we can share, um, or if I have clients who continually over, you know, we have multiple clients who ask questions that are similar. I thought every week I'm gonna start sharing some answers to those questions. So this week, you know, this will be a short segment, but a little bit of information that would help you, um, and then some resources that might be um, handy. Um, you know, as we work along in our industry, we come across tips that might save you guys some time. So one thing that I wanted to share with you, I ran across this week, I had a long time past client who approached me um, about two weeks ago, and we were able to get some research done um, in the last few days that helped to answer some questions for them. So they have, over time, um, they have purchased rental properties. So they own you know, multiple rental properties and they had a strategy in mind. A few of these homes that they've owned for you know, 30 years, 20 years, um, they've owned them for a great deal of time. Their idea was at some point when they were ready to retire, they would move into these properties for two years. Because as you all know, um, or you might know, that if you've lived in a home two out of five years, the IRS concludes that that would be your primary residence, which comes with it some tax advantages. You know, you can write off more gain if it's your primary residence. Um, you can, you know, not pay as much capital gain on, on these homes. So they had a strategy, move in for two years, um, recapture their primary, um, appreciate the um, tax advantages of that, and then move on to the next one and do the same. What they didn't realize, and when I first spoke to them about this strategy, I was able to help them, advise them to seek um, a CPA's advice, because I knew their strategy may have a little bit of um, maybe some um, misinformation or missing information that would help them with you know, what their future was gonna look like. So what they discovered is, because they had owned these properties for many years, they had done what's called depreciate. So basically when you sell your home, and again, I want you to speak to a CPA, but this is just advice that you might, that might help you if you are someone who, or has family who, owns multiple rentals or even one rental and you have this as an idea, um, if you've depreciated this property over a number of years, what they make you do at the time that you sell, even if you've then recaptured it as your primary residence after having lived in it for two years, is you have to re, you know, basically recapture that um, depreciation, which ultimately it came down to for this particular family, when they would move back in, they would spend all of their kind of a little bit of time moving, staying there for two years, reselling, but basically they were only able to capture a small piece of what you might consider this benefit of having a primary residence. So I wanted to give you my piece of advice this week, my tip, is if you own rental properties and you have this as a strategy, speak to your CPA. Um, it may not be quite as cut and dry as you might have originally thought. Um, and the second um, thing that I wanted to give you guys is a resource. So for any of you who have ever come to the place where you need to move stuff around, uh, we have clients that need this every day, right? People that are moving. Um, there's a, an app called Lug. And I didn't even know about this app. My wonderful um, partner, Vanessa, who stages for me, she's awesome. She shared this with me about six months ago. And I have to tell you, I have used it almost weekly or monthly ever since. So it's kind of like an Uber. Um, it's an app on your phone. You go on there, <clears throat> excuse me, and basically Lug allows you to ask uh, for help. You can have one person or two or more. Um, they can have a truck or not a truck. Um, I've used it for multiple clients who have needed things moved from heavy items from upstairs to downstairs, vice versa, or um, they wanna move across town or whatever. They wanna take things from their house to their storage unit. But those guys will show up whenever you want them. They're strong, heavy, heavy lifters, uh, young, strong people who can move things around. It's not expensive, it's easy, it's quick, no hassle. They're awesome, they show up on time. So my tip for the week is get help if you have rentals that you want to recapture as your primary and my resource this week is Lug. Try them out, let me know how it goes. Take care everyone, stay well. I'm Lisa Doyle with Sereno here in the East Bay and I so look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.